In this video, we're going to examine how to describe the end behavior of polynomial functions based off of their graphs. So remember from the previous example, when we looked at even degree and odd degree functions, the best way to build your understanding of stating end behavior is to label your quadrants. Label the right side, x approaches positive infinity. Label the top, y approaches infinity. The bottom, y approaches negative infinity. And the left side, x approaches negative infinity. And then to describe the end behavior, you just look at which quadrant the arrows are pointing in. So if I were to look at this example here, I see that since this arrow is in this top left quadrant, quadrant two, it's in the quadrant where x approaches negative infinity while y approaches positive infinity. I can use these as kind of a tool to assist me in stating the end behavior on this right side. It's in the quadrant where x approaches positive infinity while y approaches negative infinity. So that's a quick way to assist you in describing your end behavior polynomial functions. So let's practice with a couple of graphs down here. Determine if each function has an even or odd degree, how many real zeros are there, remember zeros are x-intercepts, and the possible type of polynomial, which would be linear, quadratic, quartic, quintic, and also describe the end behavior. So we have a huge list of things we want to do. So let's start first with determine if the function has an even or odd degree. And so if I take a look at the ends of my graph, the left side is pointing down and the right side is pointing up. So they're pointing in opposite directions. And so this is an odd degree polynomial. How many real zeros does the polynomial have? Remember, zeros, as we said, are your x-intercepts. Well, real zeros are your x-intercepts. So I have 1, 2, 3. Four, five. So there are five real zeros. And then the possible type of polynomial, well, if it has five real zeros, that means it can be a kintic polynomial. And now we describe the end behavior. So if I take a look, like I said, we can label each part as x approaches positive infinity. Here, y approaches positive infinity. On the left side, y approaches negative infinity. x approaches negative infinity. And on the bottom side, y approaches negative infinity. And so if we take a look, our left behavior, our left side behavior, states that as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. And our right side end behavior states as x approaches positive infinity, your y values are approaching positive infinity. And so that is our and behavior of the graph. So let's try number nine. In number nine, we look at what type of degree, even or odd, since the graphs are pointing in the same direction, that tells us we are dealing with an even degree polynomial. We have one, two, three, four real zeros, four x-intercepts. which means it has possibility of being a quartic polynomial function. And now we do the end behavior. So if I were just to focus on the left side, my left side end behavior here, my x's are approaching negative infinity. And the graph is increasing, so my y's are approaching positive infinity. The right side end behavior 
my x's are increasing, so x is approaching positive infinity. And as that's going on, my y values are increasing, so y is approaching positive infinity. So that's in practice with describing your end behavior, your even odd degrees, real zeros, and naming function. Let's examine here how to identify the type of polynomial, the degree, and how many possible real zeros there are. So in the first example, we have 7x cubed minus 6x plus 2 as our function. So if I take a look, since it's the highest power is 3, that means it's a cubic. The highest power is your degree. And the highest power states the possible real zeros. So there's three possible real zeros. Here, 2x to the fifth plus 3x cubed plus 9. The highest exponent is 5, which means that is your degree. Fifth power means you're dealing with a kintic. And there's a possibility of 5 real zeros. In number 3, f of x equals 4x plus 2. So this is a linear function. Your highest exponent is 1, so that's a degree of 1, which means there's a possibility of 1 real 0. And lastly, f of x equals negative 5x squared plus 2x plus 9. You see your highest exponent is 2. It's a quadratic. Since the highest exponent is 2, that's also your degree, which tells you there are two possible real zeros. So I hope you found this video helpful with end behavior and identifying functions, degrees, and real zeros.